Whoa. This is my picture. The reason why I took the picture because I love to go to church and because I believe in Jesus Christ. And as you can see, this is me and the cross is coming out of my heart. I really like this picture because I never thought it would come out like this, but it really comes out beautiful. The reason why I did it, because I just wanted to do it. It's a great photograph. You think you'll be a, an artist when you grow up? Yes, I think I will be an artist. Hey, I, I wish you all the luck in the world, young man. Good luck. That's a beautiful photo. Thank you, sir. I recently spent time in Philadelphia's Northern Liberty section working on a documentary about that amazing neighborhood. After a long day of tramping around with my camera, I was on my way back to my car when I encountered a cool bunch of kids hanging around a pizza place called Rustica. As tired as I was, I soon realized that here was a story worth capturing. Who are you guys? The Thetis Shutterbugs! Wait, now say that very slowly. The Thetis Shutterbugs! So what do you do? Make oh, yeah. photo games and we, it's part of photography. Yeah, it's from our photography group at school in North Philly. And Mr. Rocco started it and we're on our first Friday trip and we're doing the exhibit inside of Rustica's Pizza. You rarely see this many beautiful cooking onions. Well, here you'll see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that looks good. Thank you for the pizza. I'm by you. Most important, miss, listen to Mr. Rocco. He's very wise. I know. The, he, you are. How long have you lived in uh, Northern Liberty? I moved here about 13 years ago. And you, but you're a teacher or an artist? Yeah, I'm an artist. I'm a photographer. About 10 or 11 years ago, I started a photographer's co-op on the first floor of my house here on the corner of American and Poplar Streets uh, through an organization I helped found called The Lightroom. About five years, four or five years ago, we moved to another space in Fairmount. But for quite a long time we were here, I ran a photography program, an outreach program, through uh, the Lightroom. We've been doing it now about eight or nine years with different groups of kids. The Lightroom still is affiliated with this group, but this is now my project. And this group of students go to Stetson Charter School, which is on B in Allegheny, where I am the teacher and I teach computer science. So this is an after-school extracurricular activity. How do you rope them into it? They seem to love you and love the program. But... Well, the good thing is I teach all these students. Before I invite them, I get to see who the students are and I see who I think might be interested. I recruit them. And I don't necessarily pick the brightest either. Whoever is really the most enthusiastic, most of them are some of the brighter students in the school, but not all. I just want kids that are going to stick with it. Originally, when we started, right, there were a lot more students in the group, but you know, they find other things to do. So these are the ones that have stuck with it through the entire year, and as a result, they're getting rewarded with an exhibit here at Rustica, which has been a sponsor of all my outreach programs since I started. Frank, uh, the owner, has, has been amazing. He helps us out by offering the space for us to exhibit work, but not only that, but giving us a break on pizza and snacks. It was really, really nice. And it's something you don't see every day, someone helping out kids like that. My name is Frank Maimone. I'm the owner of Rustica Pizza and uh, friends with Tony Rocco. We're hosting the show tonight because I appreciate and love the work that Tony does. We supported him from the beginning. I think it's meaningful. These kids seem so positive about what they get to do, you know? Um, they do, and, and having been a part of the first group, which was, I believe, almost eight years ago, um, and following them through middle school and through high school and beyond, and watching how this one class changed many of them, changed their lives, taught them <laughs> A trade made them believe that they could they could be artists. Where is that taken? Where's the place? Ozzy's near our school. We stood there sitting in one place for five minutes while the pinhole camera took the whole picture for 25 minutes. And like we look like ghosts and that's the reason but I moved more than her so you could see her more than me and you could see some of the students sitting at the computers. And how did you guys get involved with the Stetson Shutterbugs? We were talking to Mr. Rock and he was like oh you should be in photography and 
from there on, we got a permission slip and we got interested. And it's been a fun thing? Yep. Oh, great. For the past four or five months, I've been teaching them how to tell stories with photographs. You know, not just take pictures, but take pictures that have meaning to them. Mr. Rocco set the can up for us, but, and he told us to lay down in the snow. I tried to like move around and make sh ghosts while the other people was laying around in this same spot. And then that's the reason I named it Souls Leaving because like you could see like if there was a ghost coming out someone else, some like somebody's body. Water, it's a great photo. Thanks. We started with pinholes, which are basically taking cans, oatmeal cans, whatever, and creating cameras out of recyclable objects. And all those photographs on this wall are pinhole photographs. They were taken with a can. Pinholes are, are some of the simplest and oldest forms of, of, of traditional photography. Uh, we have an amazing, world-renowned uh, pinhole photographer, Ruth Thorne Thompson, lives right on the other side of that wall. Along with her, with her husband, Ray Metzger, who's even more famous than her. It's something the kids really love to do. Yeah. That they take a recycled object and turn it into a camera. And the other ones are photographs? The other photographs are very uh, simple to do. It's another way, a uh, very simple photographic process. It's basically uh, in a dark room using the enlarger, put a piece of photographic paper down and create some kind of collage on top, expose the paper and develop it. I made that out of two pairs of earrings to make the bird kind of look shaped. And I also use tissue paper to make the clouds and they look like clouds. So I made it look like the birds coming out of the clouds. I made my initials out of nails, but the cross came from my necklace that my mom gave me for my 10th birthday and the heart with the necklace also. And that's how we got this name from Heart of Steel because it's uh, all, everything's made out of metal. I made that photogram by using all my necklaces and well I'm really girly so I love jewelry and so I just brought a bunch of it in because like I like the shape of it and so I put it down on the paper since it was around Valentine's Day I decided to make a lot of hearts and I was real creative with it so I called it love and creativity and yeah. It's wonderful thanks. The point of this was that we had to show what our neighborhood meant to us. Most of the world has lots of pollution. There was a factory back there that that's close to my house and my school. It's actually a very beautiful photograph. Is there a lot of old tires and stuff, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. Not every member of the Stetson Shutterbugs is a kid. One is a parent who joined to help and learn photography herself. My name is Miss Janet, and she's the best parent ever. Oh. Is she your parent? No. no. But she's just a generally she's good cool. parent. Yeah, yeah she's Better my your parent. parent in her <laughs> well, what makes her such a good parent? She's she was the only parent that came to help us out. And she's not just helping, though. The one that that she, came to part of the group. I carried them like they are my kids too. I'm glad to be participating in this group and I would like to show my picture. We took it with the pinhole camera. We said that it's beautiful. Janet felt that she made the aperture for her pinhole camera too small. Oh, around the picture, it is dark. Like you can see, still a little bit of light coming out. It is so interesting to know that everybody can make mistakes and we can just at the end fix it. And it's very mysterious looking. It's beautiful. When I took it, there's a person in front of it and it was moving around. And then I was like, what? Well, it was supposed to be backwards. It was supposed to be right, but um, I took the wrong way. But it turned out good anyway. Yeah, and, so when, you, and when you look at the picture, it looks like a hand doing this. I was like, how a picture doing that? Because I'm thinking my hand was moving around and I think I was putting my hand in front of it. Have you learned to like art more because of doing these photographs? Yeah. And what's Mr. Rocco like? Is, a, is he a pretty nice guy? Yes, he is. Um, he teaches everything and um, we thank him really a lot since he gives us all these materials. 
Now, Nina, you you got to use color. What? How did that happen? I was using the um, digital camera. When I was taking the pictures, I saw somebody else taking the picture, so I was standing behind that other person, and I just took the picture behind them. We were walking around Center City, and we, I just took that picture out of nowhere. Well, now, does Mr. Rocco take you to different parts of the city? Yes. Does he ever take you to art museums or anything yes. like that? Yes. Oh, excellent. Next year, I'm starting a distance learning program between students in North Philadelphia and a farming community in Colombia. Each one of my students will be paired with a Colombian kid, and over a course of a year, they're going to be exchanging photographs and exchanging stories and exchanging videos. They're going to get to learn all about each other's cultures. And if everything works out well, we're going to start raising money in September. Some of these kids are going to get to go to Colombia to actually meet the kids and their families, well, and some of those kids are going to get a chance to come to Philadelphia and see the city of brotherly love. So I'm. I'm really excited about that. This is uh, Philadelphia's finest, giving a thumbs up on the Shutterbug's art. That's the best thought I've ever seen. Good job. In my opinion, the Stetson Shutterbugs is a remarkable group of young artists, and their mentor, Mr. Tony Rocco, is a gifted photographer, great teacher, and awesome human being. There's no doubt that the lives of these kids are enhanced through what Tony has taught them making sense of the world, and finding meaning through art. Check out the blog of the Stetson Shutterbugs, follow their progress, and maybe even consider helping them a bit yourself with a small donation. You will be making a better world.